rounds of four. Unless you want to do three and other stuff. No. That's a four. Right when you're done punching, I'm probably punching. If you're throwing punches at me and I'm covering up, I'm probably gonna fire back. If you're moving around the outside, take long deep breaths on the outside. Keep, keep your energy, don't use all your energy in one spot, all right? And uh, try different things. Blocking is not always gonna be your best option. Punching and moving away is not gonna be your best option. You know, mix it up. Slip, roll, roll, slip, trial and error. And if you get my guard high up in the air and you throw multiple punches, throw hooks to the body. But after you throw the hooks to the body, I'm probably gonna try to counter punch you. So think about that. Lastly, after combination, try a couple angles. Because if I sit one spot, that's my problem.
that. In the garbage. I'm sorry. It's on the top. You want to get it? Take your eyes off me, look down, and that's why I attacked you.
guys. So it's not that, right? If someone's gonna blitz you, attack you with shots. I feel like my body is one feel armor and be a little more kind of happening. I, I hear you, and, and a lot of times that's the body's natural reaction to somebody attacking you, right? Well, you gotta keep your eyes up, because if you don't keep your eyes up, Bow, 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 bow. You can't see what's going on. It's not on. even like that I'm like afraid of the shots. Like I'm not. I know you're not. And it's not even like I'm afraid. I, I think it's just my body's reaction to just like. I hear you. Like I'm, fight just, off, I'm fighting off you and like the reaction. Understood. So you just have to learn how to just fight me off. Right? So meaning that if you keep your eyes up, you'll be able to see and respond and react a lot easier. If you take your eyes off of me, you're in trouble because you can't see my shots. If you turn away, you're in trouble. I'm not, I'm not gonna hurt you inside, so I can you get hurt big time like that, right? And you gotta keep the breathing going. I can't make you breathe. I can tell you to breathe. There's times where like I'm remembering my whole shit breathe, and then like I'm I'll start to bring it off. I get like some breaths back. And there's other times you're not, there, yeah, there's no. other times that you're blocking, you're not breathing, you're moving, you're not breathing, and you're no, you're not inhaling, but sometimes you're punching and you're holding your breath. So you're not inhaling or exhaling. In 10 seconds, your heart rate's gonna spike up high because you're not getting the, the proper air and breathing in there. So you gotta do that. Overall, you did some good stuff. You tried some good counters. The beginning of the round, the beginning of the spar was better than the end of the spar. It's just the more and more you do it, the better. So like the first get. round, like I was putting in good head movement. That's what I'm saying. And then like I got, I didn't breathe, and it screwed me again. Okay, okay. well, then you know, listen. Sometimes you have to learn the same. It's hard to like train how to breathe though. You just gotta do it. Yeah, you're right. But you just gotta do it. So you shot about you. you're tired to start breathing it's too late and by the time you do that oh shit look he's tired he's breathing now he's awake you know but overall you just have to make sure that you keep putting it all together when you do some combination combos are good but you're doing left hook right hook um right hook left hook right up okay that's not a bad combo get the same combo five times in a row you're not gonna get me with that combo after the first time not really you know the body well, shots are more right cuts in than i usually do okay but they didn't feel like good because like i guess like after like the second round i was like I wasn't I wasn't breathing so I wasn't putting shit together the way like, okay. I know I could. So if you breathe more and you can get more energy, you can also stay calmer so you can be able to think of more stuff in the moment. But you did some good stuff. Don't look at the stuff that you didn't do right and and, and bad. You did some don't, good don't stuff. Don't even upload that. Uh, I have to. That's part of your archive. Oh my god. Because you're prepared. So then listen, good experiences are just as good as bad experiences, and bad experiences teach you more. That wasn't good enough. That wasn't a good experience. You did some good stuff. I turned around like twice. Though. You did. So that's bad. So when you see that, okay, fuck, I can't do that again because you can get hurt like that. You know, so. You, you just have to be able to learn from all this stuff. And the more and more you do it, okay, next time I'm not going to do this. Or, hey, I saw this. The rest of that, that'd be motivation. Was I snapping my jabs? Good. The jabs looked a lot better. The head movement looked good. The combos looked all right. You were more aggressive than you normally would have been. You held your ground more. And other times that I backed you up and I threw some shots, you kind of go, oh, shit, you duck your head. Never duck your head. Duck your chin and keep your eyes up so you can always see what's going on. I when I care. duck my chin, I'm looking up. Sometimes like I'm like, oh, shit. Like let's say a uh, hook's coming I'm like, and I look up a little bit. In a second, like I look up a little bit, you're going down for the body shot. Yeah, but I'm good. That no, I know. That's not what you're doing. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm. And I'm then, right. then I end up going like, oh shit, body shot, and then I stay there. And then you get hit with the uppercuts yeah. and the hooks and the angles, yeah. and, then, and then you lose your sight, and that's why you're like kind of like turning around yeah. or ducking even more. Listen, it's all experience, bro. It's all experience. But if you fix your breathing more, you're inhaling more when nothing's going on, you're exhaling more during, you're gonna do better you know, for sure. But also, like, not 9 o'clock for you, but look who you're sparring with. You're not right. sparring with somebody that's never sparred you before. So, you know, overall, I was happy with what you did. Don't turn away. Don't stick your head up in the air. Don't drop your opposite hand when you're punching. But your aggressiveness is good. When you tuck your head, like, what do you do? Like, you just... I in my forehead forward. I don't do want to get your punched. shoulder in front? I mean, that too, but I, when I'm doing this, right? That's been doing it too much, all right? So when I'm doing this, when I'm doing my jabs, I don't want to get punched in the face, but if I'm like this and I'm going in, you're not punching me in the nose. If I'm here and I'm stepping in, you're hitting me with a jab, you're most likely going to hit me in the forehead or the hard part of the head. I don't want to get hit either, it's a bumper. Also, yeah. nobody's aiming to go on with a jab you hear. No one's aiming for that, they're aiming for your face. Yeah. But chin down, forehead forward, doesn't mean look, doesn't mean head down, because I'm screwing up. How many of the time are you going to do? I have no idea what I'm going to do. I can't. Nothing. Yeah. Hooks, body shots, head to the hook. Don't punch that, man. 
can't see everything, they're trying to block as many as possible and they're still gonna get in there. Yeah. But after they get in there, you can't duck or look away because then more are gonna get in there. And then you don't know the opportunities to counter punch. Well, so there were, they were just like buying fast shots. Like, there were like two times where I was able to block almost every shot. Yeah. But then I it was going fast and like I felt like I couldn't fire back without blocking. Sometimes you can't fire yeah. back. Sometimes you just gotta survive the storm, take deep breaths, or move quick enough to not get hit and reposition. Sometimes it's better to take a shot and no. fire back to push them off a little. That's a hard answer because my, my answer is who's punching at you. Yeah. If you could take the person's shot and you're the stronger puncher, yes, then that you would want to do that. If it's me punching, you may not want to do that. So sometimes you just got to survive the storm, take deep breaths. Like you had me on the ropes so and you threw like 15 or 20 punches at me. I just took deep breaths. I blocked as many as I could. You got a couple in there and then when you were done, you got a little bit tired. I came forward to yeah. attack. So sometimes you just got to weather the storm and do it. Why do you think we do all these drills where we hit the bag hard and fast for five seconds and I attack you for five seconds? For moments of, fuck, I'm tired yeah. and I can't counter right now, so I just got to get my energy back and then go get him. That's why we train like that. All right? All right. I'm going to be gone Thursday morning. All right. So I'll try to get you in here during the daytime then. It's, it's